I just got back from Providence, Rhode Island, okay? Chrissy Comedy Connection. I just did a shout-out to the good people of Providence, Rhode Island. Um, woke up at 6 a.m., slept in the same room with Tampa Tony. Tampa Tony was going to come on the podcast, but he hasn't shit in five days, so we needed to start the pod. He still he hasn't, literally hasn't taken a dump since the last time he was on this podcast last week. So he's in there. He's actually got um, his soap operas on right now because he's saying the sound of the soap opera sometimes makes him shit. We stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts in Providence this morning. I got a sesame seed bagel and an iced coffee at 6.30 a.m. Um, Emilio, the man bun, was in the back seat snoring, and my dad was literally doing breathing exercises in through his nose, out through his mouth to try to get his bowels to move, and they have not moved. His bowels are just solid. He's got just a brick of shit in there. Um... It was, let me tell you something, I had a pretty fun weekend. First of all, it's one of those things where sometimes when it rains, it pours. So I sent Pimp the picture, and we can put it up uh, right now in the episode. I had to get a new air conditioner unit, okay? And the guys came on Friday to fix the air conditioner unit. They're up in the attic, and then one of the workers fell through my ceiling, Okay. A worker fell through my attic ceiling, and there's a huge hole. There's a huge hole. Well, and, and, and there's a you know a huge to below huge. It's a small hole. A small Mexican man fell through my ceiling, and he literally hit the floor. I'm not. I wasn't there. I wasn't there at all. All I I I got a call from the foreman saying one of my workers fell through your ceiling. I said, what kind of asshole? walks through an unfinished attic and walks through the beams. I know absolutely nothing about construction, and even I would know not to walk. I wouldn't even let my one-year-old daughter, Violet, who weighs two pounds, walk through the beams in an unfinished attic. So the guy falls through the attic, okay? <laughs> so I'm talking to the guy, whatever. Talk to Jazz, talk to Jerry. They're like, everything's fine, whatever. All of a sudden, the guy calls me and says, oh, my worker's neck hurts. Oh. Okay? So I say, okay, that's fine, whatever. I, I, I'm in Providence. I, I'm like, I can't deal with this, whatever. Five minutes, la five minutes later, I call Jazz, and I'm like, the worker's saying his neck hurts. He goes, she goes, yeah, he said that to us too. She goes, and then Jerry asked the worker in Spanish, do you have your papers? And the worker <laughs> said, yo no sé. And then Jerry pointed to the attic and he said, trabajo. And then the worker finished the job because that's what it is. Game recognize game. You want to try to game someone in this family? Maybe you can game me. Maybe you can game Jazz. Maybe maybe you can game the kids. You ain't going to game TT Jerry. She hit them with, do you have papel? <laughs> Yo, where are they? Pa papers. No, get back to work, dickhead. You fell through the ceiling. Listen, if you fell through the ceiling in Juarez or Mexico City, that's one thing. But you fell through the ceiling in Staten Island, okay? So if you fall through the f ceiling in Staten Island, a passport, a United States passport, better fall out of your back pocket or you can't sue me, okay? So that was one. That so we escaped that one, but I'm still got hit for six grand. I got hit for six grand with the hole in the ceiling and the air conditioning unit. So I got hit. Friday morning I get hit. So I'm okay. You know what? We start off today. It's Friday morning. What can you do? Sometimes you get hit. Two hours later, I get a call from Vinny. She goes, "Where is your car insurance card?" I said, "Qué pasó?" She said, "Where's your car insurance card?" I said, in the glove compartment of the car, why? She goes, Jerry and I just got into a car accident. I said, I, Dios mio. I said, what happened? She said, well, we were at a light. We were at a light, and Jerry was in the crosswalk. So because he didn't want to inconvenience pedestrians walking through the crosswalk, he put the car in reverse and then backed up. And as he was backing up, a guy was coming from behind him, and hit the brakes too late and smashed into the back of the infinity. So then I'm on the phone with this guy who's some Russian mobster guy, and he's like, I don't have time for this. I have to get on flight. I was like, let me just Venmo you right now. Let me quick pay you. What do you think a rough estimate is? Let me send a picture of it to my guy. Shout out Roger, my car guy. And we'll get this taken care of. He said, no, we got to go through insurance. I was like, since when are Russians 
Since all of a sudden now Russians want to do things the legal way, when did this happen? I thought they were the kings of doing stuff the illegal way. Now Russians want to be proper? That, that makes me think something's going on that the Russians know about. Just like the Chinese knew COVID was coming, I feel like the Russians know because now all of a sudden they're starting to do things legally, and I don't know why that's happening. All of a sudden, a legal Russian scares me. A Russian who wants to do things by the book, it scares me. It makes me think they're up to something. So he now... We got a little estimate on that from my car guy. That's another four grand. So by the time it was 2 p.m. Friday, I already got hit for 10 fucking grand. 10 grand I got banged out for, okay? My father still didn't shit. So then the day is going on. I got my shows, you know, uh, 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 Friday night. I got two shows Friday night and Comedy Connection, great. Friday night I decided to go out. Friday night I said, we're in Providence, uh, after the shows, I had a tequila, and you know me, when I drink tequila, <laughs> I go and look for filming locations from the movie Something About Mary, because it was filmed in Providence. So I go to the bar, I wind up at the bar, where they filmed Something About Mary, one of the scenes where they're sitting by the water having lunch with, um, you know, the guy, Woogie, who itches his head. They ha- That scene, I went to that bar with Man Bun Emilio, Started drinking tequilas, and now this is Friday night. This happens at 11.58, so I got hit for 10 grand. I got hit for 6 grand in the morning, 4 grand in the afternoon, and then the nightcap, the beautiful, (laughs) beautiful, lovely little nightcap is I was drinking, and I sat down, and I was wearing my Lululemon pants, and I forgot to unzip my pocket. I forgot, to, I forgot to zip my pocket. And I left my pocket unzipped, and I go to sit back in a chair. My wallet falls out of my pocket into the river. So it was one of those days where I just said, I give up. I don't care anymore, and I just made a decision. I said, fuck it. Now I have no wallet. I have no money. I don't care. I don't care at all, and I guess what? I had, I, and the only positive is my fitness pal at 11.59, I still had 700 calories left. I was eating clean, and I ran. I did laps around the Capitol. But because I just said, you know what, screw it, I have no money, the only way that I can eat is on my phone, so you know what I did. Gotta go to Moe's. Domino's. Gotta go to Moe's. I ordered not one, but two Domino's pizzas, half pepperoni, half banana pepper, size medium, cheesy breadsticks, and brownie bites, and a two-liter bottle of Diet Pepsi back to my hotel, back to my hotel in downtown Providence, and I ate the whole thing. And I'm still swollen. I'm telling you, the next morning I woke up, and I shit, I shit for my father. That's... <laughs> My dad was listening to me just rip shits, and he was like, I've never been so jealous of another man in my life. So that was my Friday. 